Hey guys, Vanessa here, and in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of making sure that you know how to keep your crypto safe. So this thing that I'm holding in my hand is called Ledger Nano S. Ledger Nano S is actually one of the cold wallets that you can get there. Make sure that you actually buy the storage from the official website. I would not recommend purchasing it in Amazon or in eBay because it might not be a genuine one. You never know sometimes. Some people say that, oh, you should not worry too much about it. But unfortunately, guys, in cryptocurrency, there are people who are super, super good in hacking and majority of them are very good in computers so new investors in this market it is important that we protect ourselves we protect these coins because it's better be safe than sorry four years ago if you're not aware mount gox which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange at the time was hacked and there has been an approximate 800,000 bitcoins that were stolen that was valued 450 million us dollars at the time it is very big at the time because the market cap was not as big as what we are seeing right now yesterday guys there has been another incident that happened in japan coin check the largest cryptocurrency exchange in japan was hacked the cryptocurrencies of nam as well as ripple were valued as 500 million to 700 million us dollars that is quite a lot of money and for most of you who are buying your bitcoins from coinbase binance kraken bitstamp you really can't trust these exchanges guys because what happens is every user like myself they have the copy of my private key your private key so any employee within these cryptocurrency exchanges they have the capability of sending all of your cryptocurrencies somewhere okay that is something that I want to address with you because cryptocurrency is becoming more mainstream now a lot of the Hollywood celebrities such as 50 Cent, Katy Perry, and so forth are actually investing or supporting this market. So more and more people are coming into the market, but less people talk about the safety, the security of storing all of these coins. At the end of the day, this is your hard-earned money, okay? Another thing that I would like to point out too is that cryptocurrency, guys, once someone stole your coins, it's gone forever this is why this market is very very risky if you don't know anything of keeping them safe okay just to point out here guys there are other options and other cold wallets in the market such as keep key and treasure it really depends on your budget and how much cryptocurrency are you willing to invest for beginners this is highly recommended because it's not too expensive compared to other wallets out there and in this video i will show you how to set this beautiful thing step by step all the way from transferring bitcoins from my blockchain wallet to this little thing right here so stay tuned when you purchase Ledger Nano S, you will receive a box such as this one. It includes a cable that you can connect the wallet into your computer. Then you will be also getting some accessories should you wish to take the wallet with you wherever you go. And there are also some papers including this paper that contains your 24 recovery phrases and this paper right here is super important you never want to share this information with anybody unless you want them to steal your cryptocurrencies okay so you want to make sure that this is safe and i would recommend that you have at least two or more copies and put them in a safe place just in case you will lose this copy right here if you haven't purchased ledger nano s use the link below and purchase it directly from the official website let's begin in setting up the ledger nano s 
The first thing that you want to do is to configure your Ledger Nano S device. You can either go to start.ledgerwallet.com or you can follow me in this video. First is we're going to plug the Nano S with a USB cable in my computer and then we will see a welcome message. And then it will say press both buttons to begin. Then we will press both buttons simultaneously. And there is another note that you will be seeing in the screen as well and then it says configure as new device since this is the first time that we are doing this we will hit the right button choose a pin code then press both buttons to continue and you can actually set up to eight numbers for your pin code in my case i just selected six pin codes this is entirely up to you so you can choose from four five six seven eight numbers for your pin code as you can see in the screen when i'm pressing the left button the number decreases and when i'm pressing the right button the number increases when you've decided what number Number you want to use you just simply press both buttons so that you can continue making your own pin code once you're done with your pin code the next step is writing down your recovery phrase and this is 24 recovery phrase you want to make sure that you write it clearly that you can actually read your own writing this is very important feature because just in case you lost access to this device you you can retrieve it in the future for as long as you kept your 24 recovery phrase safe and secure the device will ask you to confirm your recovery phrase press both buttons and in here simply use the left and right buttons to select the correct word in here of course you would want to look at your paper where you wrote the 24 words then once you select the word just press both buttons you will keep doing this until the device will process everything and as you can see in the screen it says your device is now ready that means we have configured the ledger nano s successfully and then here is the next step First thing that you want to do guys is you want to go to their website ledgerwallet.com and when you're in the website look at the header and click apps and then scroll down all the way until you see the wallet apps and then click ledger wallet bitcoin and altcoins click get the apps button and then click install choose the device that you want to install the app in this example i am using a windows pc and i'm gonna click install under the ledger wallet bitcoin chrome application and then in here click add to chrome and then you will see the app added in your extension sometimes chrome will ask you to sign in so just sign in if you click the ledger wallet app you will see this prompt right here and when you actually connect your wallet your ledger nano s wallet to your computer you will see this prompt setting up device and then device setup complete you want to click the bitcoin chain that you want to use and in this case i'm gonna hit bitcoin and then choose which address type you would like to use and in this example i'm going to select segwit and the reason why i'm using segregated witness or segwit for short is because of lower fees faster signatures and enabling second layer solutions it is recommended to switch your receiving address to this new format and migrate your legacy funds by creating a transaction to a segwit address if you are not aware of this current update from ledger nano s i highly recommend that you actually do this guys now our wallet is synchronizing and then this is how it looks like and if we click send this is the section where you can put the amount of bitcoins and the recipient bitcoin address wherever you want to send that bitcoin to and if you click receive this is the address that you will be giving the person or anyone if you want them to pay you some bitcoins we go back again to ledgerwallet.com and click apps because we will be adding another app here scroll down we will select ledger manager click the get the app button and in here you want to click install for us to be able to install the chrome application now in here if i click the launch app it will show me the interface 
of the ledger manager this actually allows me to add some currencies into my ledger nano s if i want to add dash if i want to add neo if i want to add litecoin you have to be aware that there's actually a limit in this wallet guys it's not super super big so you want to select the major currencies or your favorite cryptocurrencies that you would like to keep okay so i will show you how you can receive bitcoins from any of your existing hot wallets out there in this example we will be using my blockchain account so i am currently here in my blockchain account and i currently have 0.04669435 satoshis and the first thing that we want to do is we want to grab our receive address from our ledger nano s app so i'm just going to copy the bitcoin address here and then i'm going to go back to my blockchain click the send button a pop-up will appear i'm going to put the amount that i want to send and i will also paste the bitcoin address in here i have actually used a calculator to determine how much exactly it is that i am going to be sending out because i have to pay some transaction fees so this is what i did but when i clicked it it actually updated the entire pop-up going back to my calculator i'm gonna paste in the value that blockchain gave me which is 0.04667175 satoshis minus and the fee that is showing here 0.0000226 satoshis so that's correct and you want to double check if you have the correct bitcoin address because once you send this guys there is no turning back check the first and the last character of the bitcoin address if it's the correct one and then you have the option to add some notes in here to remind yourself what this transaction is usually i put the bitcoin value at the time that i'm sending it and in here i have the initials lw nano s just so that i can remember what this transaction was hit continue this is another verification up here and everything's good hit send bitcoin and there is a pop-up on the top right hand corner your transaction is being confirmed that means that this is now being sent to the mempool for verification and for miners to verify this the time was 245 when i sent it and if you go to our ledger wallet app we can see in here that there is an incoming transaction that is still unconfirmed and in here the value of that bitcoin is approximately 502 us dollars and 10 cents i'm gonna pause this video and i will be back once i get the transaction verified hey guys i'm back and as you can see in my screen the transaction has been confirmed and it's now sent successfully so if we click this in here we can see the time that it was actually included in the blocks the time that it was verified it was actually 4 46 so that's about two hours and that is really the issue of uh, sending bitcoins at the moment as it can take hours and as you can see in my ledger wallet app the transaction has been verified one thing that i should also tell you is that when i sent the bitcoins from my blockchain i disconnected this from my computer so you can send the bitcoin to this wallet even if it's disconnected but if you're planning to send some bitcoins or some cryptocurrencies from this wallet to anybody you have to connect it to your computer okay remember this that's all there is to it guys i hope that this video was very useful and i hope that i was able to help you set up your ledger nano s properly step by step and if you would like to support this channel i have affiliate links down below and as always that would really really mean a lot if not don't worry guys you can just give it a like to support the channel and comment down below if you managed to set this beautiful thing properly if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe if you would like to see more videos such as this one until next time and be safe out there bye